Imogen, how dare you? How dare you do that to me? You know exactly what I'm talking about. How dare you do it? Prepper Nation, we're going to talk about that next. Welcome to Prepper Nation. I am John. Thank you very much for being here this morning, for watching and listening, for shooting a thumbs up, for hitting subscribe. Also, William Foreman, thank you for the mean bean this morning. That is truly appreciated. And a shout out to the folks over on the rundown that have been checking the rundown videos out. Y'all rock. Even though there's some demented people over there that picked the Nancy Pelosi option on the poll yesterday, but I digress. Bama Jim, let me let me explain to y'all what happened yesterday, last night actually. I'm walking through the house, minding my own affairs. Uh, you know, probably I don't remember, probably thinking about the original action figures from the 80s. And man, I need to make some coffee. How are we gonna do this, son? And I get a message on Patreon. So I click it. There's a link from Ginger. I said, okay, let's click the link. That ruined my entire night and i'm getting ready to ruin y'all's entire day and i'm going to sound like our friend creator in canada and i hate to do it but i'm gonna do it son because it needs to be done dirty deeds done cheap and this is a cheap setup i got over here so <clears throat> y'all can fear porn away you can talk about clickbait you can talk about the thumbnail was clickbait Look, everybody needs to know what's going on here. And hopefully, uh, Bamajin has a link to this intel. Uh, I'll put it down below in the uh, video description as well. My hair would have fallen out last night if I would have had any hair on my head. Let me, let me, this is a worst case scenario for people like us conservatives, okay? And, and I, I get it. Not all of you are conservatives, but look. This is bad. This is real bad. Again, not to sound like our, our man up north, but this is this is the big one. Red Fox style. So this is according to Summit News, but it was all over social media as well. I checked. Ted Cruz. See, I, I don't know the ins and outs of what's happening in the two major political parties because I don't give a crap usually. To be honest with you, they're both corrupt. But Ted Cruz, he's been there long enough. He knows what's going on. He hears the side chatter. He hears the whispers. He understands how to read the room. You got to give him that much credit. He's sort of a rhino, but it is what it is. He made a statement yesterday, and he said, the, uh, this is a direct quote, the odds are very significant that Michelle Obama will replace Joe Biden on the 2024 ticket. That is what he is hearing. This is the chatter he is hearing. This is the stuff he's picking up from backdoor conversations and things like this. That Michelle Obama is going to be the candidate for the Democrats, okay? <clears throat> we're talking about, y'all don't think this is bad, but look, we're talking about a Democratic ticket that would be either Michelle Obama and Kamala Harris or Michelle Obama and Gavin Newsom. Again, ruined my entire night. And let me explain something to you. Because I realize people are going to say it doesn't matter. It's all a show. It's the national stage. They're just going to cheat you anyway. I know plenty of independents. Again, I don't, I don't really care for either political party. I'm a libertarian, but I do vote conservatively. You know what I'm saying? I, I do vote, for example, Trump. His ticket. His values were a lot more conservative than Biden. I didn't vote for that old fool. I voted for Trump twice, actually. But I digress. I know a lot of independents, people that are in the middle. There are more than you would think, believe it or not. These are their dream tickets. 
Gavin Newsom as a vice president and Michelle Obama as president of the United States would be their absolute dream ticket because a lot of independents, not me, now, I'm in the middle of the Libertarian Party. I don't like Michelle Obama. Please don't put me in that category. But I'm saying a lot of people in the middle, man, they love Barack and Michelle. They really do a lot. This brings prestige to the ticket. This is a candidate that checks every single box and could accomplish what Hillary Clinton could not. We could be looking at the first uh, female, debatable, just saying, president of the United States of America. I mean, this is a nightmare. Even if it's Obama and Harris, this is a nightmare. Because let me tell you something. They don't have to cheat with this ticket. If they run either of these tickets in 2024, conservatives are toast. Again, I'll vote for Trump, but Trump is toast. If Michelle Obama runs, I said this probably seven or eight months ago. I don't, I don't remember. It's been, you know, less than a year. I told y'all, I said, they're either going to run Liz Cheney or Michelle Obama. And if Michelle Obama's on the ticket, it's over toast. You might as well toast the United States. Goodbye. At that point, it will be over period. And if that ain't something to, to be again with the fear porn, I know, but if that's not something to be a little bit afraid of, I don't want that ticket. You know, um, Cruz is warning, and this seems to make a lot of sense to me, actually, because I've seen it, a little bit of it in mainstream media, a little bit of it from the political commentary on the left, and even some of the, uh, the folks in Congress on the left. They seem to be breaking away from Joe Biden. Cruz is trying to warn everybody. I heard it coming out of his mouth in an interview. Uh, Judge Jean or whatever her name is, he did an interview uh, late yesterday evening, I think. And I caught the interview and I said, oh, my God, this is this makes sense. The left, the swamp is allowing Joe Biden to fail on purpose. They know what we've known all along. This fool is a gaffe machine. Put him out there. Let him poop his pants. Let him trip his words up. Let him embarrass himself at this point as much as humanly possible. Where Democrats think, oh my God, Trump is going to be the next president. And then he said, and this is how he put it, and then they're going to parachute Michelle Obama in onto the ticket. They're going to swap him out. This is going to energize every single person in this country. I'm talking about the people that, that are professors at your Ivy League schools all the way down to the ones that are busting in the Foot Locker and stealing sneakers. Every person that thinks they are a Democrat is going to be energized and they are going to swamp the polls for this lady. I'm not kidding on that. He's trying to warn you. I'm trying to warn you. That's what it's going to be if she's on this ticket. It is a total nightmare. And Trump, as popular as he is, with the conservative right, he, again, they're not going to have to cheat him. He don't have the numbers. We're going to see a lot of these states that are in the middle in a fair election go Democrat. I mean, we just are. <clears throat> Let me run down Michelle Obama's uh, policies, her stance on policies, just because I want y'all to understand why this is so catastrophic, okay? If, if we were to get her as commander in chief, Again, we won't even have to call her thief in chief. She'll win it outright, and it'll be a landslide. Um, her economic policy, socialistic programs across the board. Everything from Obamacare to upping, you know, welfare, everything. Illegals, the, the underprivileged, everybody's getting free stuff except for the working class. And they're going to, you think it's bad now, it's going to be 10 times worse. That's her policy. Energy policy. Clean and green. She's going to kill everything carbon related. She's Again, she's checking all the boxes for the WEF here. This is what's so scary about it. I think they're going to parachute her in. Under her husband's watch, we saw a dramatic increase in digital surveillance. 
Some of that was the technology catching up to the times. Most of that was because when Obama, uh, Barack Obama was president, he didn't care about your privacy. And guess what? Michelle Obama, she ain't going to care about it. <laughs> they want guns gone. Think about that for a second. Wrap your head around that one, the Second Amendment, okay? Think about any federal judge or anybody on the Supreme Court that walks away, that decides to retire. They're going to be replaced by judges who were handpicked by Michelle Obama, Kamala Harris, or Michelle Obama, Gavin Newsom. Second Amendment, you can kiss that goodbye. If this lady gets into office, that will be gone. Your guns will be gone, folks. Yeah. You could make an argument, and I've seen this argument in chat, and I agree with this, actually. You could make the argument that Joe Biden is just an extension of Barack Obama's presidency, that, that we essentially had 12 years of Barack Obama, and this is why the country looks the way it does. A lot happened on Barack's watch to tear the country down. Now we've had Joe Biden for three-plus years. Tearing the country down. We're talking about eight more years, essentially, of Barack Obama if this lady gets into office. Think about the timing. You're talking about an election in 2024, and eight years is going to bring you where? Right? It's going to bring you past Agenda 2030. This is the perfect WEF candidate. They install this person. Everything's going to be executed according to plan, fast-tracked at that point. And, and this is what Ted Cruz, I think, is trying to, to warn everybody about. There was a debate last night. I would planned to watch the debate, but look, I didn't. When I opened this link and I saw this, I said, there's nobody on that stage that is going to hold a candle. Nobody up there debating for the GOP has a snowball's chance against a ticket with Michelle Obama at the top. I mean, they just don't. Um, I think Trump would be the candidate that would bring it the closest in a fair election. Uh, but again, I mean, if it's close, it's probably not even going to be fair. But I don't think they would have to steal it. I mean, we would be in a society, folks, by 2030, with Michelle Obama's president, because she's she's not as old as Joe Biden, I, I think it's safe to say that she could she could manage eight years. Um, a society that was gunless will be speaking Chinese by 2030. The Constitution itself would either be gone or so heavily rewritten that it might as well be gone. Schools would be unrecognizable even compared to right now. Think about all of the stuff that that would be going into the education system under a Michelle Obama. We'd be in an all digital, of course, world. Um, we're, we're heading there now. I'm telling you now, if this lady announces that she is running for president, if they, if they put her at the top of the ticket, you will look back as bad as 2023 is right now. And it's bad. It's nasty right now. You will look back on this and you will think to yourself, those were the good old days because this country is toast. You might as well unplug the ventilator at that point. It's over. If this lady runs, folks, it is over. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have a totally different attitude on this. Maybe you believe she's defeatable. If so, leave a comment because we'll be covering that this afternoon uh, on the rundown here on Prepper Nation. Y'all take care and God bless.